War Eagle. War Eagle. Hey, thank all of you for, for being here this afternoon. It's a, it's a fun and exciting time um, in Auburn athletics, particularly women's basketball. As uh, David Mines and Meredith Jenkins and myself set out to interview coaches to become the sixth head coach of women's basketball, um, we had a tremendous amount of interest of people wanting to become the head coach at Auburn. And, and that's a tribute to not only our current players, but our former players and coaches. And it was, really, it was really nice that uh, we had so many people that, that wanted to be a part of the Auburn family. And that's a large part, not only of our student athletes, but the Auburn family itself. So congratulations to all of you for the example that you set nationwide. And I mean nationwide, we have people talking to us that were interested in being a part of this. And the Auburn culture is certainly something that's a wonderful thing to be a part of, particularly the Auburn family. As, uh, as I mentioned, as David and Meredith and I have set out, uh, we had some criteria that we wanted to make sure that we met to, to continue to uphold the, the Auburn values and the Auburn creed. And uh, we have five goals here in the athletics department, and one of them is winning, and we certainly wanted someone that could win and someone that has proven success in winning. We also wanted someone that uh, could develop our student athletes, these young ladies, physically, mentally, and spiritually each day and someone that uh, has a record success of graduating their student athletes. But more importantly than that, exactly. But, but as importantly as, as, as all those things are, we wanted someone that developed our ladies so that when they compete on the floor and they get through here with their degree in hand and a championship ring on their finger, they can go out into the community and be leaders in the community. And if, if they chose to be, choose to be, they can be moms, wives, aunts, whatever they may be. And so as we visited with, uh, with Terry, not only has she had the proven success on the court by her unprecedented uh, success at Georgetown through the, through the best years of Georgetown, she took a program at Georgetown and left it far better than she found it. But not only that, but also all but one of her student athletes have graduated in her eight years as head coach at Georgetown. And that one is just a few hours away from finishing. So our criteria was, was somewhat this way. It was someone that could not only win and do it the right way, but also develop our, our young ladies the Auburn way, and someone whose values matched up with the Auburn values and the Auburn creed. And so if you would, join me in welcoming the sixth head coach of women's basketball, Coach Terry Williams Flanoy. Coach Flo. <laughs> War Eagle. War Eagle. I am so excited about the opportunity to lead the women's basketball team here at Auburn University. I want to thank President Goode, Jay Jacobs, Meredith Jenkins, David Mines for the opportunity that you have given me to lead the women's basketball team here. I can't promise you how much we will win, what we will do, but what I can promise you is that I know how to win. And that's what I will put into the minds of our young ladies. I look forward to Eric, my husband, my daughter Maya, and Eric Jr., also known as EJ, to join the Auburn family. <laughs> War Eagle.
Thanks, Coach. Uh, what I'm first row here? Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, what uh, attracted you to the Auburn job? What is it that that made this something that intrigued you? The elite Auburn University, the Auburn family, is all that attracted me to Auburn University, a place where my family can grow and develop into wonderful people, um, the opportunity to work with a wonderful athletic director and Jay Jacobs, and just to be a part of a wonderful community that loves women's basketball. Coach, have you, have you had time to even look at, at, uh, at, at who's coming back and what's coming back and uh, to kind of look ahead? <laughs> I had the opportunity last night to have dinner with the players returning, wonderful girls, um, um, as well as look at the four incoming freshmen also. Uh, we had a great time last night. I told them I only needed one thing from them, and that was to be patient. We need to be patient because... I have to learn them, they have to learn me, they have to be patient in how we want to play. And in being patient, there's one goal that we want to accomplish, and that is to win. Coach, uh, could you talk about style of play you prefer, and also uh, your coaching staff, if you made any decisions yet on who you're gonna bring with you? Yes, absolutely. I'll answer your first question. Uh, my coaching style, my style of play is very simple. We want to play tenacious defense for 40 minutes. We want to cause havoc as much as we can. And in doing that, we want to force teams to turn the ball over as many times as they can. And I know that that style works because it has been successful for me. We learned that in turning teams over 20, 25, 30 times, that gives us the opportunity to have more offensive possessions. Um, in doing that as well, and having played against teams in the SEC with my style of play, we beat Tennessee, forcing them into 28 turnovers. We beat Georgia, forcing them into 25 turnovers. And we forced LSU into a number of turnovers. And the game didn't come out the way we wanted to, but we definitely had the opportunity to win that game. To answer your question as far as the coaching staff, as, as soon as all of this ends and this whirlwind turns down just a little bit, that is the next goal of mine is to put the best coaching staff in place for my players. Coach, could you talk about, a little about your experience in the SEC and, and how you think that, that may help you going forward? To Absolutely. I was assistant coach at the University of Georgia under Andy Landers for six years. And in those six years with Coach Landers, um, I was a recruiting coordinator, uh, for, I think, for four of those years. And in those years, we went to the NCAA tournament as well as the Final Four. Uh, we understand, I mean, I understand that in the SEC, in one of the top conferences in the country, um, that the competition is tough every night. Um, but having been in that same competition for the last eight years in the Big East, I'm really think, I think I'm really capable of dealing with that, the type of players that we have to face each year um, in the conference. Um, I know it's tough, and that's my job to prepare our players each night for those games. I assume it was probably a tough decision to leave Georgetown since you had things going well up there. I'm sorry, can you start w that again? Was it a tough decision for you to leave your program at Georgetown where you had things going well for mm -hmm. you? It was a very tough decision. It was a very tough decision. Um, I built Georgetown. We became one of the winningest programs in Georgetown history. But it wasn't a hard decision when Auburn University opened up. I knew that this was a great opportunity for me and my family, and what better place to be than at Auburn University. Just look at this arena. It's unbelievable what we can do with women's basketball in here. Hey, don't let the, don't let the media hog all the questions, okay? Where am I, where's the community? Where's my fans? I want to hear from you. Don't let them hog it. <laughs> she 
has a question. Well, I'd just like to know what you're going to do to get more people in here. Those of us that are here are for here for every game. And sometimes there aren't many more people here, including students. So what can you do to get more? I definitely think first that I have to get out in the community and I have to spread the word on everything that I want to get done with our women's basketball team. But to be really honest with you, I did not get fans at Georgetown University until we won. And when we win, they shall come. I was just wondering if you'd had a chance to talk to Coach Fortner at all, or if you'd met her in the, in the coaching business before this or, or knew of her. Yes, I knew, I knew Nell um, before this, and, and I did have the opportunity to, to speak with Coach Fortner, and she had nothing but wonderful things to say about Auburn University, the fans, the community. She knew that it would be a great place for me to bring my family, and the, she just kept going on and on and on about the community, and that was just great because I would be in the community, my team would be in the community, our coaches will be in the community, my family will be in the community. And if we can do that, then we can get you into this arena right now. Speaking of, of former coaches, uh, you competed against Coach Champy, I guess, when you were at Georgia. Uh, do, do you know him? Have you talked to him? I have not spoken to him. Um, there have been people around me that have spoken to him. I remember playing against Coach Champy when I was an assistant at um, Georgia, not here, in the Coliseum, and all I can remember is Coach Champy in that zone defense. Oh, my goodness. It was, it was a nightmare, and I don't know why that had to be my scout report because the only thing that you had to do was be able to shoot, and if you didn't shoot, it was going to be a long night if you didn't hit some shots. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want you to speak. Coach, I'm not a reporter. <laughs> Good. But I'm, I'm a fan, and uh, I'd like for you to compare the facilities that you've got here at Auburn to the facilities you had at Georgetown, and how big of an advantage do you think that is in recruiting uh, uh, players to come into your program here? Unfortunately, it's not that much of a comparison. At the prestigious Georgetown University, we sold getting your degree from Georgetown University. Um, it wasn't the building that we could sell because there wasn't much of a building to sell. Um, we began to sell getting a Georgetown degree, and we began to sell the success of our program in winning and going to the NCAA tournament. Now my job just got a little easier because now I not only can sell getting your degree from Auburn University, I can also sell playing in the SEC. And then to come and play in this arena and to walk around and see the facilities that are being, off, that are being built around here. When, you, when I walked through the locker room last night, the girls gave me the grand tour, and I was just like, oh, my God, this is unbelievable. I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, I just walked into a gold mine, okay? <laughs> um, and then the, just the um, construction that's going on, so more building and more building, that's just... That's just more, not just to put into my recruiting bonus to sell. So I don't think it's going to be hard to sell Auburn University and the facilities and the people here at Auburn. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Four Eagle. Thank you.